Welcome back to the channel. There's been some really interesting events over the last week or so. I have been gearing up to do some GPU testing. And I guess that's just some of the frustrations of growing pains of not being able to acquire the new 50 series GPU yet. A lot of great channels out there that are already reviewing it and doing a lot of really good benchmarking, a lot of really good data sending out to you about what you should and shouldn't buy or maybe consider. I don't want to say shouldn't buy because it's a 50 series. It's still a decent card if you don't have one at all. But as of the enthusiast market, you're probably deciding whether or not to upgrade. So I had in my own mind trying to create my own types of uh, GPU benchmarks. I know there's a lot of gamers out there. I was going to include some games, but I was taking a little bit different focus. But the problem is you can't get the product. Um, <laughs> I don't get early release products yet. Um, so with that, it was frustrating even when you were going to spend the money to want to do these types of testing and research. You couldn't even get the product. So that was a really effective paper launch by NVIDIA. And then I was trying to make sure that I had a lot of my other baseline benchmarks all set. And here I have a broken 3090. I sent it off to be refreshed and thank goodness I insured the package with FedEx, but as you can imagine, when it comes back and inoperable and you file a claim, there's some back and forth that's going on. So, and, and rightly so, they should do their due diligence and I'm trying to be as honest and straightforward with it, but I'm just, and there's, there's a lot of time down, I'd like to get back to work. This is lost productivity here for me. Trying to keep the box, I mean, fragile stickers all over it. They've crushed it, they've kicked it, they delayed the, <laughs> this thing looks completely beat up. Shocker, the electronics inside don't work. So um, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm behind my own theoretical timeline, so I'm trying to hurry up and get something uh, together. Um, my plans haven't changed. I still have a desire to do these particular benchmarks and these, uh, this particular analysis because I do have a lot of 30 series cards and I got rid of my lower end 40 series cards. I'm looking for um, acquiring a 4090. I would love to include that in the test. Got a couple feelers out. Um, we'll see how this goes, <clears throat> but I, I'm trying to get into the GPU market as well and got some really great ideas, but I need my, I need my devices back. <laughs> so as soon as I can get this up and running here, I'll get back with you and maybe uh, there's some other people out there who's just as frustrated as, as I in terms of unable to find 50 series on the market and uh, the scalpers are out. It's all about the Benjamins, right? So hang in there, everybody. I know I've been in some uh, conversations with some leading manufacturers. So one of my popular brands that I like to use, um, we'll remain nameless right now. I'm hopeful that we can work out something, but they don't have their water blocks for their GPUs yet. They're looking for a release date. I'm uh, hopeful that we can pair something up or at least I can acquire product and present this information to you. So not a long video, just letting you know that I'm working on some GPU analysis. I did have some interest within my 14th gen Keeping It Cool series and I'm building a system for um, a request from someone that is like watched the video, appreciated the data, asked me to build something for them. So. I'll probably, you know, feature that in some form or fashion. So there's there's some interest out there. Thank goodness. I appreciate those that are following me and um, uh, reaching out to communicate. I will try to get back to all of you. I do appreciate um, the correspondence. And uh, there is more to come. There really is. I'll be moving this as quickly along. But I really, you can see from my previous testing, I don't like to rush the date. I want to make sure it's right. And it takes a lot of time to do it, so I'm, I'm, I'm confident that it'll still be relevant, and maybe you'll find some benefit from it. I know it's definitely some testing that I would like to perform. So with that, thank you for everybody that's uh, stopping by. Let me know if you've ever had to deal with something like this in terms of shipping damage and 
how it turned out for you. Hopefully we'll be up and running soon. So talk to you soon. God bless.